Hi, I'm Kelly from R Studio Solutions Engineering. On this episode of the Solange Cast, you'll hear my colleague Sean Lopp talk about managing project environments in R with a demo of the new RMF package. This demo comes from Sean's recent webinar, Time Travel R, which you can find a full recording of at rstudio.com. In the snapshot strategy, the way that we're going to, to do all of this is by creating isolated per project libraries and then taking pictures of them essentially over time. Um, I like to think of it, if you remember, uh, there used to be those magazines where on the left you would have an image and on the right page you would have an image and there'd be you know, five or six differences that you try to find between the two images. Uh, the snapshot approach works the same way with, env with environments. It allows you to take pictures of your environments over time uh, and then safely compare and roll back to old functional environments when necessary. Now there's a variety of tools that we can use to implement this strategy. Uh, you know, the, maybe the simplest way would just be to print out DevTools session info anytime your code successfully runs. Uh, what I want to show you today is a brand new tool called RN, which is a, a package written by RStudio that implements this snapshot strategy. The RN package is completely open source. For those of you that are familiar with PackRat, it's kind of the next generation of the PackRat package. Uh, but I will throw out there that it's in the experimental stage of its life cycle. Uh, so you might not want to jump into using it in production today, uh, but we would love any feedback uh, as you try out the tool. The other tool in our, our tool belt that, that we could make use of, uh, the PAC package, which is developed by the Tidyverse team. And this is a package that replaces install.packages and, and shoots to be faster, easier, and more reliable. And so when we actually get to the act of upgrading a package, uh, PAC might come in handy. Uh, so, so let's take a look now at, at how these two tools can be used to take those pictures of the environment. Uh, and again, as we hop into the demo, the context is we're trying to upgrade a package safely. We're going to use this snapshot and restore strategy through a variety of, of tools. So the first thing that I'm going to do is hop back to our studio. Uh, this is going to work in whatever environment, whether you're in our studio server or uh, just you know, the desktop IDE or you know, R outside of our studio altogether. And the first step in using RN is going to be to initialize a project. So inside of our studio, uh, one of the concepts that, that you'll want to become familiar with is this idea of a project. A project is basically just a, a jazzed up folder or directory. And so when you create a new project inside of our studio, um, one of the options is to just associate the project with an existing directory. If you start out with a brand new project, you'll have something that looks like this, where you have a, a directory uh, with this cool little cube inside of it. So that's the first step is to create a project. And then we're going to initialize RN inside of this project. And the way we'll do that is by calling the RN init function. Uh, this function it did a lot of work, and if you're familiar with PackRat, it did it much, much faster than, than PackRat ever could. And so, so let's look quickly at what, what work the RM initiate function did. The first thing it did is it created a new folder inside of our project called RM. And this folder is actually going to contain a library of R packages. So we briefly mentioned that a library is a set of installed packages. You can see the library here contains all of the tidyverse packages. What RNF did was instead of putting that library uh, somewhere globally accessible, and in the shared baseline approach, we're creating kind of one library that everyone could, could use. In the snapshot approach, we're doing the opposite. We're actually putting the library inside of the project. If we look at the libpaths function in R, that tells us where R is going to look for packages. And the first place it's going to look is in this directory that's inside of our project. So that's critical. That's giving us the isolation that we were hoping for. If I need to change one of these tidyverse packages, it's only going to be a change for my new project. It's not going to impact anything else. That's the first requirement for safe package upgrades. The second thing that the RN initiate function did 
was it created this lock file. Uh, this is a, a fancy way of taking a picture of our environment. And so this lock file contains information about the version of R that's in use, the repositories that we're pulling from, and then a list of all the different packages that, that are available uh, inside of, of that library we're just looking at. The RN lock file here is critically important. This is that picture that's going to provide a safety net for us over time. Uh, we can modify this lock file by hand. So if we, for instance, wanted to add some internal packages you know, that are specific to our organization to the, this whole snapshot, one of the things that we might do is add uh, a repository. So instead of pointing at CRAN, perhaps we want to point at package manager, our own internal repository. We could modify the, the file to, to make that change. Uh, inside this modify command, you'll also see all of the different packages, but we don't actually want to modify the packages by hand. Instead, we'll modify the packages in the package environment by using our, our familiar install tools. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna switch over uh, quickly to a new project, or excuse me, I should say a different project. In order to upgrade packages, you kind of have to have old packages lying around. So ahead of the call, I created this project sample one. This project has some old packages, specifically uh, the BART package, which does uh, some Bayesian analysis for us, uh, is being used. And if we look at, uh, in R, the old packages command, so we can run view old packages, this is going to pull up a list of any of the packages in my current environment that are kind of out of date. And that BART package we were using, you can see version 2.2 .2 is what's installed. That's what's in our packages pane. That's what's listed here as installed. But the repository has a newer version available, 2.4. So I might want to upgrade the BART package. And I can do that upgrade using any of the commands available for installing new packages. So I could use the pack package. Uh, I might use DevTools. I can use DevTools sister package, Remotes. Remotes is a much lighter weight package that's available as a way to install things. So I could do Remotes install CRAN BART to, to get the latest version. Or when, when push comes to shove, I could always just use install packages to get the new version of BART. And so if I run install packages, it's gonna bring in that new 2.4 version of the package. Uh, whenever you install a new package, you should restart R to, to unload the old version of the package and load the, the new version. Uh, so if I now you know, load BART, we're gonna be using that 2.4 version. So I, I have the new version, I've upgraded the package. It looks like things are, are working. I'm able to load the package. So now I want to take a new picture of the environment. Remember the goal of the snapshot strategy is to take pictures of things over time. And so I can run this command rn snapshot to update my lock file to have the new version. So if I look at my lock file, it currently has the old version of BART. If I run rn snapshot, it'll update that picture to version 2.4. Now, before I, I did that update, I installed the new package, I upgraded it, I made sure that it loaded, but what I probably should have done is made sure that my sample code continued to run. And so I'll do that now if I, I source this file, it's with running with a new version of the BART package, uh, and unfortunately, I see here an error. In this case, the error is kind of a, a silly example, but this is what happens to us very often. So we upgrade a package, and then in some weird edge case of our code, there's an error. In the past, this would be very tricky uh, to, to, to sort out. We'd have to try to downgrade you know, a package or maybe many packages uh, or try to change our code. And that can be especially painful if you're under the gun to, to meet a deadline. That's where our strategy comes into play. With our end, we've been taking pictures of our environment. And the way that our end works is it makes it easy to track those pictures over time in version control. 
So specifically that RN block file that had the picture of our environment, uh, when my code was working and I committed it to Git, I included the lock file in my commit. And so what I can do with RN then is negotiate my commit history. Uh, so I can run RN history, and this is going to show me all of the prior versions of that lock file. So here I have an older version associated with this commit, and then I can run RN revert with that specific commit to bring my lock file back to the old, old point in time. You know, in this case, it's a simple change. My lock file now has the older version of BART. For complex projects, that change might have you know, been, been much more complicated. With that change done, I can now run rm status, and the rm status command is going to tell me the lock file, which records the version of things as it worked, said that I needed BART 2.2. The library currently has BART 2.4. What do you want to do? And this is the point where all of my hard work, you know, snapshotting the environment pays off. I can fall back into my safety net by running RN restore. And this is going to bring the environment back in line with the lock file, that picture of how things were working. And if I restart R to, to pick up that update, uh, you'll see the version of BART is now back at 2.2, and my example code can successfully run. So, it per, so upgrading packages safely is often a matter of keeping track of your environment over time, being able to fall back into those safe, isolated environments that were working, and the RM tool provides an easy way to do that. Thanks for listening to this episode of the SolEngCast from our studio. If you enjoyed this episode, please share your thoughts and questions on the episode show notes page found at community.rstudio.com under the screencast tag.